Yeah. It starts there. Yes. Yeah. 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 Thank you. The, the speeches will be happening from here in just a moment, so if people okay. want to fall over this way, and then afterwards everyone will have a chance to see you. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs>
If you want to know more about Airjet Focus, there are leaflets around the room, and do feel free to take a copy. We would love you to join us. There is a lot to do. Eritrea and the News aims to shed light on Eritrea's history. It brings together a series of photographs and images that chart Eritrea's journey from Italian colonial rule in 1882 to the British administration after the Second World War. And then the Federation with Ethiopia in 1952, which brought repression, an accession, and a 30-year struggle for revolution. Our struggle was a unique struggle. Against all odds, Eritrea won independence from Ethiopia in 1991. But the promise of freedom was never honored. No election had ever been held. The Constitution of 1997 has never been implemented. And there is no independent judiciary, civil society, or media. The people are trapped in an indefinite national service, which the UN Commission of Inquiry describes as effective slavery. At this very moment, we are seeing the emergence of a new political climate between Eritrea and Ethiopia. Despite this, there remain no sign of a real change in Eritrea. I would now like to invite our good friend, Lord Alton of Liverpool, to say a few words. Lord Alton is the Vice Chair of the All Party Parliamentary Group, or APPG, on Eritrea. He served as a member of Parliament for mostly Hill in Liverpool for 18 years and was made a life peer in 1997. He sits in the House of Lords as a cross bench peer and is a dedicated campaigner for human rights and advocate for international, international religious freedom. Lord Alton recently chaired a meeting of the APPG on religious persecution in Eritrea, where he put forward a series of recommendations for the British government to challenge Eritrea's abject record on protecting religious freedoms. Lord Alton. Thank you very much for that welcome. I can see Martin hiding here as well, but it would be wrong for me to say anything without thanking both of them. Uh, Martin, of course, wrote the benchmark book, Understanding Eritrea, and anyone who hasn't read it should. And you'll recognise, the as you look around the exhibition, as I was privileged to do just a few minutes ago with Martin, that much of a narrative in these terrific photographs have been provided by him giving us a much deeper understanding of what Hapti has just referred to about the egregious violations of human rights, political, religious, almost every kind of human right, uh, almost every one of the 30 human rights in the Universal Declaration of Human Rights violated in one way or another. And yet when you look at these photographs and see the hope that there was, and the opportunity that there was, and what has been squandered and wasted well, it would be enough to break your heart. And of course, for me, one of, the, one of the photographs that I will take away from here tonight in my heart is the one of coffins. Coffins of people who have tried to escape and never made the journey successfully. What kind of world is it that has created this kind of horror for people in this situation? Well, in the story of Pandora's box, it says, 
that the one thing that was left, when everything else had gone from the box, was hope. And maybe what Habi said at the end of his remarks uh, about minor changes in the political relationships, and we don't know yet, you know, the jury is still out on where it goes, but some changes are taking place, and we must hope that that will bring the long-desired, fundamental changes, ushering in freedoms and liberties and privileges that we all enjoy who are here in this room tonight, and that the people of Eritrea are entitled to. So on behalf of the All-Party Parliamentary Group on Eritrea, thank you for joining us this evening to open what is a timely, and I'm sure you will agree when you've seen the photographs, a fascinating exhibition here at the Resource for London. I'd like in particular to thank Eritrea's Focus, uh, which has organised the exhibition, so not just haptic and, <laughs> and those hiding behind pillars, um, but all those who have been involved for many years now. Eritrea Focus has been campaigning tirelessly to raise the profile of Eritrea on the international stage. The exhibition is called Eritrea in the News, but we're keenly aware of the fact that in some respects this is a sort of oxymoron, that this small state in Eastern Africa very rarely makes the news. And I would vouch that precious little is now provided by those who are not closely involved in advocating for Eritrea's basic rights and freedoms. As Vice Chairman of the ATPG, I've heard all too often of the widespread and systematic abuse of human rights and civic freedoms that have taken place in the country under the rule of President Isaias Afwaki. I've heard first-hand testimony from religious leaders of believers uh, being jailed, tortured and abused in the most heinous way from some of you were present at the hearing that I chaired in Parliament where we heard those first-hand accounts from people from very different religious traditions, from Muslim backgrounds, Christian backgrounds, different denominational backgrounds. These images and texts are designed to take the visitor from the earliest days of colonial experience over here, through the Italian period, and then into the Second World War, which ended with Britain ruling the country. Britain, unwilling to rule Eritrea, attempted to find an appropriate fate for the territory it had taken from the Italians. And eventually, this task was undertaken by the United Nations, who sent a team to consult Eritreans on what future they wished to have. Sadly, there was no consensus. The United Nations decided to hand it to Ethiopia, but as part of the federation, you can see the picture of the Emperor Haile Selassie signing that declaration. It was an incorporation, it wasn't a federation. If it accepted Eritrea's federal status, and respected its individuality, perhaps history would now be very different. You know, we think of things that might have been and ask ourselves why not. Tragically, it wasn't to happen in the 1960s. Resistance turned inevitably to armed struggle, which continued for 30 long years. The blood spilled to achieve independence was colossal. The celebration of liberation in 1991 is captured in an image which for once can rightly be described as iconic. It's almost like that Berlin Wall moment. You can see the joy and the real hope expressed in people's faces. And the rescue, everyone here, you all probably know, how the precious independence didn't lead to a free and democratic state, how a minor border skirmish led to a terrible war with Ethiopia, and how 20 years of no war, no peace, squandered the lives of so many Eritreans. The flight into foreign lands, those drownings I referred to in the Mediterranean, the sadness of exile, all of that followed. Many of you will know this from painful personal experience. They're captured in the photographs around you, many of which incidentally have never been shown before. The recent rapid rapprochement between Eritrea and its neighbor, Ethiopia, following years of war and tension, uh, and has been spearheaded by Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed Ali. It's been hailed, perhaps though I think prematurely, as a landmark breakthrough that could win its architects a Nobel Peace Prize. Let's hope that it is permanent, that it does bring peace and reconciliation between these two neighbours, and that it's accompanied by the real democratic internal transformation that Eritrea's people so richly deserve, and which Hapti has already referred to in his remarks. While we must remain hopeful then for the future, 
It is at such moments as this that the exposition of Eritrea's past and present become all the more important. These photographs are a reminder of the human stories interwoven in political upheaval and armed conflict. They're a reminder of the desperate conditions that continue to drive many to risk their lives, fleeing persecution, fleeing repression, fleeing enslavement. A peace that is just, a peace that is meaningful, will not overlook this suffering, and an international community looking to a new future with an open, just, and free Eritrea must not do so at the expense of forgetting its past. I hope that this exhibition will be something that you will take away in your hearts, that you'll encourage many others to come here and see it, and particularly using social media, encourage members of parliament over these next four or five weeks before parliament properly reassembles. MPs will be back this week and next week and then three weeks of political conferences. But there are times during those weeks when they will have more spare moments than usual. Encourage them to get on the tube and come and see what's here. Write to your friends and neighbours. Contact local media, London media especially, and tell them how important it is that the unknown story of Eritrea does not remain unknown any longer. Thank you so much for the interview. Thank you for that inspiring speech, Lord Olsen. <laughs> I wish the Congress, Nahizba Gumbar, Nashen Chatam, it is a man and Shatan. Kalai Congress never at ya. Abzig Zizi, Camera Hize, Silocum de Naval Kunahachas Kunataza was home. Bishah Maitom, Petro Solomon, General Brahane, Subhat Ephraim, Kusho Holo, Belaligan, the Novaru, while Messon Hagos, Beyond Agaman de Mani, Marahat Quinat. Izi atau biar untuk merahati naik kuih nasi nubaru na ertra malatiu. Hari ini saat om, ane buduh protokol ayat khatul kun tak hilamat eh. Kongres nata kaya dah Allah khusus lakukan dalam sahul kom. Bi fikshta, maka oleh kula Allahu nata kamera dan mata abilas ilaya. Jadi dia naik hewat yang mendekat dia. Alright, izi ertra bersilih dibel, tarikh ertra bersilih. Eritrea fokus di bahal, nai meselu di sebut kalis, mahberiu, tedaliu. Larga semua tu orang itu kawan kita itu sedaiu. Eti natu mereka bentaiu. Eritrea buduh tarikh dalawa, buduh naji kena net tarikh dalawa, buduh dah hotaz nebera, buduh sain makaran dah lefat hager. Ingin nazu kulu. تحفظ خمد الله أجنس أول أودس نخلو تأجمات سجيرة ببرتاوي بمجد ببرتاوي قالسي ما تنتهى تجوان فت هجريا إذا نجر ذي خفلة أب علم بمجد دي فوت إكذيبيشن كقلة الله بمبال أبدي تداليو دل الله فوت إكذيبيشن تداليو نهزبيك سع سران حمشتر معلتي ورسالة سام معلتي سران حمشتر معلتي خوان عبدالله النحيو، ريسورس سنتر ذبحال، أبو هلا وهي ركبي. كم كل ذي عزاب ذلوا، تاريخ إيرتراك عب شحن شمونة ميتين سمانة عن كل تن، خبت عليان، أفتحت عليان، بمجدعتي خبت قرن، أتحيزا، كساع كل أي وقع على ما أفتحت عليان دنا برتيا، كأوجن، عليان بشحن بأكل أي وقع على ما مستسعرت بشحن تسعة ميتين أربعة حدن أبتحتي مجدعتي إنجليز كوينا كاون إن يوجن دحر عصر تعمد بمجد حورات مانجستات شحن تسعة ميتين حمسة نيو بمجد فدراشين أب أبتحتي زفان هاي لسلاس تورينا يخو نمبر إذا نجرات ذي تبو مخدانيرو جن من قصي إثيوبيا نتيجة نظرة نادي ديمقراطية أو تكالات كم محبر بوليتيكا أو محبر محبر سرحة نجاتات 
ማህበር ተማሃሮ አፍሪሱዎ ካላይ ደማን እንስዝ ነበረ ቃንቋ ትግርኛን አረብን በመሐርኛ ተኪዎ ፋብሪካታት ከተረፈ ካብዓዲ ንኢትዮጵያ እናሳገረ ህዝብ ኤርትራ አቤት ክብል ጀሚሩ አቤት ሰላማው ሰልፊ በመገዲ አቤት እና ተአለሰውሎ ግን መንግስት ኢትዮጵያ መሳርን መሕያርን ካውን ለዓለክ ገብራይ ካለን በዚህ መክንያት እዚ ብሽን ሽዓተ ሚትን ተሳን ሐደን ብረታዊ ቃልሲ በተጋድሎ ሐርነት ኤርትራ ተጀምሩ ካው ዘ ኤግዚቢሽን እዚ ዝገልጽዩ ጽቡ ጽቡ ፎቶግራፋት ዛዓባ ወታደራ ጣሊያን ዛዓባ ጣሊያን መገዲ ክሰርሕ ኮሎ ትካላት ክሰርሕ ኮሎ ከመሐደ ጥርኑፍ ሀገር ክሰርሕ ኮሎ የሪኢ አብቲ ኻላአይ ዛዓባ ፌዴሬሽን ሃጻይ ኃይለ ስላሴ ከአቱ ኾሎ አብቲ ዶብ ነቲ ዘነበረ ሪቨን ዘባል ቆሪጾም ከአቱ ኾሎ ብዙሕ ሰብ ከመታዘብኮ ሃጻይ ኃይለ ስላሴስ ንመጀመሪያ ግዜ አፍሲሊ ንሪኦ ለና ዘውሉ መንሳት ወዛት ረኽብና ብድሕሪኡ ሰዕብ እቲ መብዛሕትኡ ናይቲ ቃልሲዩ በህልፊ ቃልሲ ህዝባው ግንባር ብራታዊ ጥራሕ ዘይኮነ አብቲ ደጀን ዝግበር ዝነበረ ምዕባለታት ፓብሊኬሽን ናቱ ሕተም ከም ዝነበረ ጋራጅስ ናቱ ዝግበር ዝነበረ ከምኡን አብቲ አብቲ ምምሕዳር ልክ ከም ንኢሽተይ ሃገር ኸይት ከም ዝነበረ ካው ሓሊፉ እንታይ ናጽነት ይጓና ጽፍ ማለት ይው ድሕሪ ኹሉ ዚ ብድሆታት ድሕሪ ዚ ኹሉ ደም ምፍሳስ በቀጽም ህዝብ ኤርትራ ብሽሕን ሽዓተ ሚትን ተሳን ሓደን ናጽነታ ኸም ዝረኸበት ኣብዚ ስእሊ እዚ ኣብስ መራኽ ኣቱ ኸሎ ሰራዊት ናይ ህዝባ ግንባር እቲ ህዝቢ ፈንጠዚያ ዝባል እቲ ህዝቢ እቲ መንእሰይ እቲ ዓቢ እቲ ንእሽተይ ገዛ ሓዲጉ ኣብስ መራ ሓጎስ ኸገልጽ ኸሎ ብጣዕሚ ብዙሕ ረአ ነይሩ ኾነ ድማ ህዝባ ግንባር አብ ሃገር አትዩ ህግደፍ ዝባሃል ብሽም ምስ ገበረ ካውኒ ነው ግን ካብዛ ሓሰብና ዮ ንታሕቲ አክንዲ ምምራጥን አክንዲ ናጽነት ናይ መጽሓፍን ናጽነት ናይ ምምራጥን አክንዲ ዝኸውን ሓደ ብኢሳያስ ዝተባተ ዲክታቶሪያዊ ስርዓት ቆይሞ ብድሕሪኡ ናይ ሬፊጂ ሽግራት አብ ሜዲተራንያን ባህሪ ምጥሃል ካለ ካለ ዝገበረ ናይ መሰል ወዲ ሰብ ዝጥሕፍ ጉዳት ነቲ ዝነበረ ናጽነት ነቲ ዝነበረ ባህጊ ነቲ ዝነበረ ህልሚ እዚ እንቅፋት ኮይኑሎ ህዝቢ አብ ኤርትራክ ዛረባይ ክል ግዛት ሕገውን የለን ሕጂ ብደገ እዚ ና ኤርትራ እዚ ሕጂ ዘሎ ጥራ አይኮነን ኤርትራ ጅግንነት ዝሰርሐት ሀገር ክንደይ ብድሆታት ሀገር ዝሓሰበ ተባሂሉ በዚ ኤግዚቢሽን እዚ መግለጽ ተተዋሃቡ ይርከብ ያን የለይ ሰማይ ሃብተ ሃጎስ ይባሃል ናይ ኤርትራ ፎከስ ማሐበርተኛ ኤርትራ ፎከስ አብላንደን ዘ ሪከብ ኦርጋናይዜሽን ምስ ፓርላሜንት ናይ ዘዓድ እንግሊዝ ዘርህ ምስ ኤርትራ እና ዘ ዓድ ዘሎ ሃቢርካ ዘ ዓድ ናዝ ሆን ዘሎ ናይ ግፍዒ ንህዝቢ ምፍላጥ ዓላማና እዚ ገርና ዘለና ሎሚ ኤግዚቢሽን ነይ ኤርትራውያን ነዘ ዓድ ዘቅሞጹ ሰባት ብሓፈሻ እንታይ እና ኤርትራ ዘንታ ምኳን እቲ ዘሓለፈ ኹነታት ንምፍላጥ አብ ግዜ ጥልያን ተግዛት ከመይ ዝነበረ ተህዝብና ከመይ ከም ተሕለፎ ካው ናብ ኢትዮጵያ ከመይ ገሩ እቲ ኹነታት ተመሓላለፈ ካው ቀጽል ካናይ ፌዴሬሽን ኮይኑ እቲ ዝተገብረ ጻዕሪ ብዙሕ ህዝቢ ኤርትራዊ ዝተጋደለሉ ብዙሕ ደም ዝፈሰሰሉ ናይ ናጽነት ዓወት ክንረክብ ዘጽሓና ንሃና ስዋት ያ ብድሕሪ ዝኾነ ዝግበር ዘሎ ግፍዒ አብ ኤርትራ ብጣዕሚ ዘሕዝን እዩ ኤርትራን 
ወጻተኛ ተገፊያም በኢትዮጵያ ተገፊያም በኢጣሊያን ተገፊያም አጅካ አብናቶ መንግስተ ፈጉፍ ዑቆሎ ካብቲ ወጻተኛ ዝገፋ አካ ግፍዒ ካው ዝኸፋይ ስለዚህ ዕላማና በዚ ስእሊ እታ ዘሕለፍና ይሽግር ተዘሕለፍና ይዓወት አጅካቲ መንግስቲ ናህና ንህዝብና ዝጭፍጭፎ ዘሎ ንህዝብና ዝገፎ ዘሎ ንህዝብና ንፍላጥ ከነንቆሖ ለውጥ እንደለ ሐዲስ ሐዲስ ስርዓት እንደለ ከምቲ አብ ኢትዮጵያ ዝኸውን ዘሎ ናይ መሰል ህዝቢ ናይ ዑስራት መፍታ ናይ ጋዜጠኛታት ናጽነት አብ ዓረፍና አብ ዓድና ኻኸንቆውን እንደለ ስለዚህ ትምኔትና ንስን ንጻሒ ብኾም ኻ ጻዓርና ከቅጽል ተሳዓውን ይበጽ ሰዓድና ነጻ ዝኸውን ዓድና ህዝብና ንመሳል ዝረክብ እቲን ጎብሮ ዘለና ምንቅሳስ አይከተረፍ ከቅጽል ቀጻሊ ተወሳኺ ናይዚ ኤግዚቢሽን በዕለት 15 ታ መስከረም በናይ አውሮፓ ቋሳስራ ሰዓት 5 ን ፈረቃን አብዚ ኸባኽን ገብሪና ዓላምኡ እዚ ምስ ኢትዮጵያን ምስ ኤርትራን ዝገበር ዘሎ ዝርርብ እንታ ይን ህዝብና ነዓድና ኸስንታ ይብቶ እንታ መሰልት ህዝብ ኸረክብ ኢትዮጵያ ከም ሀገር ከ እንታ ይሳዓበን ኩሉ ዋሎ ከመጽፈ ብዝብል ጸዋናየም ብዙሕ ተመክሮ ብዙሕ ጽሕፈት ጎበር ሰዓት ዲቤት ከጎብሪ ሰኒ ድራፍት መጽፍ ኸልኩም ከመጽና ነዓጀ ዓለት ዕስራን ክልተን ሰፕቴምበር ሓሙሽተን ፈራዓል ቃብ ተወሳኺ ስለምታ ዮም ኤርትራ ካብ ሃገሮም ዘሓድ ምዘሎ ዝኹሉ ብዝሕ ኤርትራ ስለምታ ካብ ዓዲ ወጻሎ ኤርትራ ካሙል ዓለም ዝበዝሕ ረፊጂ ፕሬዲስ ገብራለ እንታ ይምኽንያቱ እንታ ይዝደፎም ዘሎ ሃገሮም ገዲፎም ናብ አውሮፓ ኸመጹ ብዝሕ ሽግር ክረኹሙ ንዑኻ ተዛራሪ ማ ዲቤት ኮንጎራል ማ እዚ ኤግዚቢሽን ከሳ ሳላ ሳመስ ከረም ከጽሊ በሕጅ ሰለስተ ሰሞን አለዎ በተወሳኺ አብ አውሮፓ ተኺልናው ናብ አሜሪካ ተወሳኺ ኤግዚቢሽን ከንገብር ዕላም አለና ነዚ ኤግዚቢሽን አርባዓ አርባዓን ሐሙሽን ዳክል ፎቶ ጌርናልና ግን ከሳባ አርባዓ ተሜቲ ሰለታ ዳከብና ያለና ሐ 1882 ክሳብ ሕጂ ነዑን ታኸም ንገብሮ ገና አይመደብና እንዘለና ዕላማና ግን ወይ አብ ዌብሳይት ከንገብሮ ወይ ከዓ ኤረትራ ሂስትሪ ኢን ፒክቸርስ ጀብል ፕሮዲስ ከንገብሪ ገና ወሳኔ ተገብረን ዘሎ ተነገር ወኔ ተሰወል ላይ ዘሎ ትቀንድ ነገር ብዝተኻ አለመጥን እቲና ኤረትራ ዘሕለፎ ሽግር ተዓድና ዘሕለፎ ሽግር እቲ ሕጂ ዘሕለፎ ዘሎ ጭቆና ሰላም ሐዳን ኪዳን ይባሃል ማህበር ማይ ኤሪትራ ፎከስ ሃዲኦም ካፕቲዮም አዳሎ ቲኤንአይዚ ኤግዚቢሽን ማለት ዩ እዚ ዕላሙኡ ናይ ኤሪትራ ታሪክ ክነገር ሰብ ኤሪትራ በይምህላው ጥራይ ዘይሆነስ እቲ ታሪክ ናይቲ ህዝብ ናይ ኤሪትራ እንታዩ በከመይ አብዚ ኩነታ ተጂ በጽህና አለና ሶ ከብዛ በንጢሊያናት ሒዙ ስካብ ናይ ሕጂ ናይ ሰላም ዘተ አሞንጎ ኤሪትራ ኢትዮጵያን ዘተ ገበረ ዝጋልጽ በሰልታት ገርናስ ዝጋልጽ ዩ ማለት ዩ ምስቲ ኤግዚቢሽን ዘተ ተሓዘ ክልተ ኮንፈረንስ ዘለና 15 ሰፕቴምበር ናይቲ ሰላም ኩነታት ዝርኢ ማለት ዩ ቡኡ ዘተፈላለየት ተዛረብቲ ያለውና አንድ ከብና ኢትዮጵያ ኤምባሲ ከማን መጽዮም በዛባቲ ሐዲስ ኩነታት ዘተረኸበ ዘሎ ክዛረቡ ዮም ከብናይ መንግስቲ ኤሪትራ ማለት ዩ ጌና ማያፍለጥና ናሎ ምምጽዮም ግን እቲ ባሓጽሩ እቲ መደብናይ ዘኤግዚቢሽን ንኤሪትራውያን ናይ ቀደም ታሪክ ዘይፈልጡ ከናፍልጦም ንኤሪትራውያን ዘይሆኑ እንታይ ባሃል ናይ ታሪክ ናይ ኤሪትራ ህዝብ ናይ ኤሪትራ ክፈልጡ አምዘና ታተጂ ከመጽ ኾሎ በዛ በአሳይለም ናይ ኤሪትራውያን ዮም ዝዛረቡ እንበር እቲ ታሪክ ናይ ኤሪትራ እንታዩ እቲ ባህሉ እንታዩ እቲ መምጽ እንታዩ ሰባይ ፈልጥኒ ሕጂ በሰልታት ገርና ንቲ ሰብ ካናፍልጦ ማለት ዩ ከምዛ ሀበርኩኹም 15 ዓመት አለውና መደብ 
ኮንፈረንስ አብዚ ቦታ እስራን ክልተ ከማን ካለ መደባለና ዘ ፑሽ ፋክተር which ማለት ስለምንታ ዮም ኤሪትራውያን ከባዓዶም ዝወጹ ዘለው አን እዚ ሐዲስ ኩነታት ከመይ ገይሩ ዩ ሐዲስ መንፈጽ ዘፈጥ ንዚ ንትሕዝቢ አብቲ ውሽጢ አዲስ ከመሃይሽን ኢፍታባሂሹስ እቲ ዝወጽ ከነሲ ማለት ይሶ ንዚ ነገራት ዘር ይትካል አይመደብ እጂ እቲ ዘራባታት ከኸፍት ማለት ይሱ እዚ ክልተ መስና ኤግዚቢሽ ዘተሐዘ መደብዩ እዚ ኤግዚቢሽን ሎም አልቲቲ ሎንች ማለት ዩ ካብ 5 ተ ን 30 ን ዘኾ ን 7 ጽዩ ሰዓት 4 10 ተ ጀሚሩ ናይ ንኮስ ካብ ሰዓት 4 ተ ፈራቃ መጽዩ ኩፉቲዩ ን ዘኾ ን 7 ክሪኦ ማለት ዩ ሶ ካብ ሶኒ ንቃዳ 6 ተ ማልቲ በሰሙን ኩፉቲዩ ካብ 30 ሰፕቴምበር ሶ እዚ ዩቲ ኤላማና አን ተስፋ ይገብር ሰብመጽ ይዘሪኦ ሶ ካባይን ካብ ኩላትና በኤሪትራ ፎከስ ይቀንየና Well Emmanuel it's a great pleasure to be here and to have been a, a small part in organizing this great exhibition which has been fascinating and it's been great to see so many old Eritrean friends It's an interesting time at the moment because we're all wondering what is going to happen in Eritrea and of course now that peace has broken out we're hoping very much that the president or indeed somebody will release the prisoners some of whom you see pictured here Petros Solomon and others who are still in prison since the 18th of Feb of September 2001 and many of us are worried about whether they are still alive or not So lots of great memories but lots of suffering that the Eritrean people have and as a as a non-Eritrean as a Ferengi it's a great pleasure to be with so many wonderful Eritreans and to have so many memories of my great times my my fantastic memories of of Eritrea Karen Mendefera obviously Asmara but also I went to Rura Habab and to um the north of Nakva and places like that I haven't been able to go since 2001 of course and I would love to go back to Asmara to have some coffee. So I suppose my message is next year inshallah in Asmara. Thank you very much. Ted it's happening a very important historical you know yeah. moment. Yeah, absolutely. So what would be the impact of this kind of exhibition which focuses on the Eritrean history uh, the struggle and everything. Well we are hoping that this uh, exhibition will allow Eritreans to come together to to learn about their history because we're worried about young people from Eritrea who are in English schools or British schools and don't really have access to their own heritage and it's a very very va viable and valid culture as you can see from the exhibition around us but we also want to challenge people in the uh, in the embassy The embassy was very unhappy about some of the photographs here because they it, they show evidence of the fact that the human rights violations in Eritrea have been egregious since particularly since May 2001 uh, when when the G15 were, were were rounded up those that were still in the country but have been getting worse ever since and I now deal with refugees very often who've come through the most terrible situations they've fled to Ethiopia some of them have been trafficked to Israel or they've been having to cross the Libyan desert and then the Mediterranean and then Europe and the jungle in Calais as it was sometimes called in my, in my view wrongly and some of them have got to this country and are some of the most amazing people I've ever had the luck to meet but there are others who are terribly affected by their journey and need a, a huge amount of help from people like the refugee action and the refugee council and we're hoping of course that this new peace that is 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 breaking seems to be breaking out between Ethiopia and Eritrea will force the president to let the prisoners go to enact the constitution that was supposed to be enacted in 1997 but never never was and to ensure that 5000 young Eritreans don't continue to flee the country every month as they still are. I have a member of staff Salam Kidani who's just come back from the camps 
it's the rainy season so she would expect less people to be there but actually there's still the same numbers coming across the border often under threat of being shot in the back by Eritrean uh, army troops so we await, we await with interest, we await with worry and trepidation as well as hope um, but back in the day when I used to believe more perhaps in the EPLF than I do now, there was an old saying which was Awetna Hafash, victory to the masses. Now there are some new masses in Eritrea now and I say victory to them and let's hope that we can have coffee together in Asmara next year. Thank you. Thank you. عبي مذكرتها قالوا وسيلي أنا حجي قارئي يعني رتون تهونكو أبزي عبيو تسائلو تلت يفوق رياه الله هو بحكي سبوي سمعني من تاب زعبا بوي ولد أبون مسحاب سن السحاب إتهم قالوا أتون ذكرهم ذكروا من زل اليوم تقدر تونا له هذا هو تهم سنا له كم زعينة نايس لي إكسبيشن تجاري فلتن تراي فلتن قلنا ثم أدلوتي حنتي متحسسة بي كهوم زللي بجزية جبهة تسرح قياسات بزح ناتهم بزح أسألا يرأنا نفسي سلذ أبتزمة إنكلوسيف كوينو ناي كله وتسبقيو بهالاي برزي لما أنت زرانا بحق زحجوس بحق زحجوسي كتاب عزك بقونا كر بتعامل ده سب التذكرة تاتيو قدم نفط أمز نبرنا حج تصوير أمز اللو بيت ماسر تز اللو تجادلتي بمرأينا بتعدي ناي قدم تذكرات نحسب بتعدي خاني من ألباش به وتم تليومس كوتس وعبز زمز تز اللو مود عبز ناي عسر شو مون تمس كرم تي منجستي لبزة لو منجستي خونا نقل لبي احديرو قبل بوتو مليسو متفتحهم مسهزبهم مسدرابيتهم كتحاوسو زلونا تسفا عبيو بزوح تسميتو نالونا نزيد الدالوغا بتعمي نمسجنوم كمسجون ازقبوهميو ازتاد كابي اريوم كم عقيرهم مخهم زرخبو بتعامي زقرم بت دس زبلجن اتروس عركي كدم لكع كساب تناي كدم ملكعو تناي كدم هيوتو ازكيرنا بمسيات كلنا نذكره زنبرناون بتعامي زحجوسيو بحكي زحجوسي عود زغنا اكزيبيشنيو كمزي داويز بولو ملو متان كخونكا ناي تقادلو حارنة ايرترا سيدتات ون انت تحاويسو ملو كخون خيليو يغن نير لاي كمزي تفولتو بعلقا ازي اكزيبيشن او حاد فليز بلا تاريخاوي كنتاتنا ايرترا يو زكايا زلو سلام سمم مع عبزو قبرولو زلو اوان مود ماتنا اي سلام سمم مع نقول سميت خاميتي زي تأمام كوينو قال حتو تاتا بزلا عالو لزلق زين ديو مزيت أزاميد كخطري أو خلق أخي كمزع عينات إكزيبيشن فليز بل مرئيت مدلاو انتاي إمباكت ويتسلوا هلو إتي ناي سلام ترخي وزلو أب مونغو إيرسران إثيوبيان نمان نسب كحقوس قبو كل سب معرحبا يلو خعفو زقبايو جن كبير تراز مس زلوا أو عد زلوا خنا قرنا خلوا تعد تهزبي أبس ألماتي زلوا أنت عينة وعل قبر الله أتنا وعل مسرة أنتايو أنت أنتايو تسمي معز قبر زلوا كبير ترا منهم لوت يلن تهزبي تحقق سلوا أتنا وق دلس على الوز نبرة أبس خنا جزية خل مس خل يزول الوز نور ونسوس بالتالي تهزبي بزح تحقق سو مرحبا يلو حمقو فايلو تقبل والله جن منم وريلن اتهزبي وريز رخبوزولو 
ካብ ናይ ትግራይን ካብ ናይ ኢትዮጵያን ቴሌቪዥንን ሬዲዮ ነው ከምዚ ብመሃኑ ብጣዕሚ ዘሕዝን እዚ ኤግዚቢሽን ዝኻ ኣብዚ እዋን ዘይ ብመግባሩ ግዚያዊ እዋናዊ ብጣዕሚ ነቶም ዘዳለዎ ኻኒ ከመጎሱን ከመስገኑን ዝግባኦም እዩ ዝኾነ ስራሒታት ባልካ ተዛረቡን ከምዚ ብጽሑፍ ተጻሒፉ ብስእል ተሳኢሉ መዘከርታ ቶም ኤርትራ ስቶፎይን ደበርኮቱን ኣብ ዝኽሪም ከለና ጣም ክብሪ ስማዓካ ካብዚ ህዝብ ዝም ፍጣሬ ጣሚ ይኾረ ኣብዚ ንሪኦ እንደለና ሃኒ ዋላ ሓፋሽ ድባዝ ነበሩ ኹኑ ተጋደልቲ ዝኾነ እንዴ ታሪክ ዝገበሩ ሰባት ኣብዚ ክትሪኦም ከለኻ ህዝብ ኤርትራ ብሙሉ ተቓሊሱ አንፎርቹኔትሊ ከምቲ ተጸበናዮ ህዝብ ኤርትራ ሕጂ ባሓባር ደይምህላው ብጣዕሚ የጉሄኒ ተስፋ ገብር ምዝ ሕጂ ሃሁ ዘይደሎ አይ ሰላም ሰላም ኣብ ልብና ተመሊስና ናይ ባሕቂ ሰላም ምስዝብና ክንገብር ዝዓበ መልእኽተ የማሓላልፍ እዚያ ብካራይ ውዱባው ጉባኤ ኣብ ዘነበርና ሎ ግዜ ይው ሽዑ ኣቦይ ወልደ ኣብ ኔሮም ምሰይ ወኣቦይ ወልደ ኣብ ክንሳል ተባሂሉ ዝበዝሐ ደቀንስዮ ተጋልቲ የነረን ሓንቲ ኣብ ሞንጎ ዘመደ ተኽለን ኣብ ሞንጎ ኣቦይ ወልደ ኣብን ዘነበረት ነበረት ሕጂ ኳሽማ ጠፊያት ንላ ካላይ በየማኑ ደሎ አጣሊያን ተባሃል ሰቪያኔራ እታ መሳደላ አመንጎናን አመንጎኦን ዘነበረት ካብ ሆላንድ ዘአተወቲያ ሰይቲ ወዲያ ቀሻ ፎርቂ ዝኾነ እተን ተሓት ዘነበራ ቢወገን የማን ኮፊ ሎም ዘለው ሓደ ኢትዮጵያዊ ጋዜጠኛ አለ መዝገበ ዝበሃል ናይ አዲስ አበባ ሬዲዮ ዘነበረ ዲያ ካላ ጉባኤ እወ አብ አብሳሕል ካላ ዘመደ ናቦይ ገብረ አምደላ ነቢያትያ እዚያ ነቢያት እዚያ ካብ አስመራት ወጽኸላ ተታባበር ስለዝነበረት ንኮረነል ቢሹ ኦርጋናይዝ ገራ ሱሰ ዘቀትል ስለዝነበረት ዘጥቃተ ሰቢያ ዶክተር ተሰቢያት ነቢያትያ ወዳድ ማኒ አብ አሮን አሮን ባህል ወዳ ንሱድማኒ አብቲ ናይ ቲያትር ንኹን ናይ ሙዚቃ ባህል ውድ ዝነበረ እዩ እዚያ ትሪዋ ደሎኹም አብ ውሽጢ ኮንግረስ ናይ ህዝባዊ ጉምባር ናይ ሽሕን ሽዓተ ሚትን ሰማናን ሽዓተን ካላይ ኮንግረስ ነበረትያ አብዚ ግዜ እዚ ካሜራ ሒዘ ክስእለኩም ደና ወልኩና ሓጨጭኩና ተዛወዝኹ ብሳሓቅ ማይቶም ጴጥሮስ ሰሎሞን ጀነራል ብርሃነ ስብሓተ ኤፍሬም ክስሕቁ ኸለው ብላዕሊ ግን ዝነበሩ ባዓል መስፍን ሓጎስ ቢያማን ጸጋ ምን ድማኒ መራሕቲ ኩናት እዚያቶም ዮም ተም መራሕቲ ናይ ኩናት ዝነበሩ ናይ ኤርትራ ማለት እዩ ሕጂ ንሳቶም ኣነ ብዙሕ ፕሮቶኮል ኣይተኸተልኩን ትኽ ለመጽ ኮንግረስ ና ተኻይደ ኸለ ኹስ ለኩም ደም ሰልኩም ብፍሽኽታ በቃ ቆልሕ ክብሎ ኸለው ነታ ካሜራ ድማ ጣዓብ ቢለስ ኢለያ ስለዚህ ዲያ ናይ ሂወተይ መዘከርታ